Hey everyone, it's uh, Chris Seferlis with Pragmatic Works. I'm a senior principal consultant. And in today's version of Azure Every Day, we're going to talk about Azure Data Factory uh, high level components, the, the various areas where, um, or various components of, of Data Factory that help your data flow from its source to its ultimate destination where it's consumed. So if you're not sure what Azure Data Factory is, it's essentially Microsoft's cloud version of an ETL or ELT tool that helps you get your data from one place to another and transform it as needed. Some of the high-level components are uh, the pipeline, um, the activities within the pipeline, the data sets, the, the data that you're actually pulling, um, the link services, the triggers, um, parameters, control flow, and um, all of these components pull together a data factory which allow you to have your ultimate end product uh, for consumption. What a pipeline is, is really it's a logical grouping of activities that performs a grouping of work. Now, what does that mean exactly? So here's an example. If you're copying on-premise data from one data source to the cloud, for instance, uh, Azure Data Lake, and you're <clears throat> you want to then run it through an HDI Hadoop cluster for further processing, um, do some analysis, and then output it into some sort of reporting um, area. All of those components would be contained inside of this pipeline and they'd be chained together to create a sequence of events or they can be run in parallel, whatever your um, specific uh, requirement is. An activity is one, in, one event inside of a pipeline. So uh, a data copy activity or uh, uh, an analysis on a particular data set. Those would be considered activities. Uh, your data set itself is that structure of data that you're moving from or copying to or moving to. Um, and that's defined you know, uh, with all of the supported uh, various options uh, given by Azure. Uh, a linked service is very similar to the concept of a connection string in SQL Server. Uh, where you're saying what the source is and what the destination of that data is. Um, a trigger is, um, it, it's an activity, it's a, it's a unit of processing that determines when a pipeline uh, needs to be run. So these can be scheduled or they can be um, set off by a different event, um, hence the name trigger. Um, a parameter is essentially the uh, information that uh, you can store inside of a pipeline that will pass in an argument um, when you need to um, fill in what the data set is or what that link service is. Um, and then finally, the control flow in a data factory, it really is, is what's orchestrating how the pipelines be sequenced. And it includes activities like sequencing, branching, and looping, uh, or any other uh, operations that you're uh, performing with those pipelines. Um, if you'd like to know, more information about Azure Data Factory, um, please feel free to contact us at the link below and have a great day.